Hi there, my name is Mike and in this Lens Studio tutorial we'll cover how to use the face and video template. The face and video template allows you to track your own content to a video using tracking data from After Effects. This video covers how to export After Effects tracking data and sequences using a provided After Effects script and how to use it to make a lens in Lens Studio. To get started, go to the Lens Studio website, hover over the reference menu and click Templates. Then, select Face and Video under the Face section and look for the After Effects to Lens Studio script. Click the link to download the script onto your computer. Now we need to install the script. Copy the AE to Lens Studio.jsx into the After Effects script UI panels folder. To do this on a Mac, navigate to Applications, Adobe After Effects, Scripts, Scripts UI panels. Then copy the AE to Lens Studio.jsx file into this folder. If you're using a Windows, navigate to Program Files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, Support Files, Scripts, Script UI Panels. Then copy the AE to Lens Studio.jsx file into this folder. Now that we've installed the script, we can use it in After Effects. To use the script we installed, in the After Effects menu, Go to Window and then select AE to Lens Studio.jsx. You should now see the AE to Lens Studio panel. Next, we'll use this script to export our tracking data, as well as our video. For this video, we will use the sample After Effects project provided in the same template guide page as the script. Tracking data is a layer in After Effects which contains keyframes for position, scale, and rotation. In this project, you can find the tracking data which was created in After Effects Mocha plugin under the Peapod tracking layer. Press U on your keyboard to see all the tracking data attached to this layer. Before exporting your tracking data, make sure to check the following. First, make sure your video resolution is the exact same as your comp resolution size. Second, if your comp timeline has a beginning and end mark, Make sure to trim the comp so you have a comp with no beginning and end mark. Third, make sure the video is loopable so the experience seems to be endless. Keep in mind that the maximum size of a lens is 4 megabytes. Since a smaller lens size leads to a faster download and thus better experience for the user, let's make sure our video is as short as possible. Now that we have all the settings ready, let's start with export tracking data for Lens Studio. Select the Tracking Data layer, then click Export on Export Tracking Data button in the AE to Lens Studio panel. The first time you use a script, you may be prompted to allow the script to save files to your computer. We'll need to do this to allow the script to write the tracking data file for us to import into Lens Studio. In the dialog box that shows up, press OK to open After Effects Preferences. Check the Allow Scripts to Write and Access Network checkbox, then click OK. With our tracking data layer still selected, we can now click on Export Tracking Data to save the tracking data file which we can import into Lens Studio. The last step we need to do in After Effects is to export our video as an animated sequence. To do this, select the comp that you want to render, then select the Export PNG Sequence button in the AE to Lens Studio panel. After choosing where you want to save the sequence, After Effects will start rendering the PNG sequence. Now that we have all the assets we need, let's import them into Lens Studio. To import the tracking data, drag and drop the file from your computer into the Resources panel. To import your animated sequence, go to the Resources panel and select Add New 2D Animation from Files. In the File Selection window, select the image sequence that was exported from After Effects and press OK. This will open the Import Animated Texture window. Once you're happy with your settings, click OK and Lens Studio will create a new animation resource for you. Now let's replace the template's content with ones that we just imported. Select the Face and Video Controller Edit Me, then click on the Tracking Data Script input and select the tracking data that we imported earlier. Next, drag and drop the animated texture we created from the Resources panel to the Background Video input in the Inspector panel. Now you should see the animation in the Preview panel with a red color overlay on the screen. The red overlay means that we need to fix some settings in the project file. To see what we need to fix, open the Logger panel. To open the Logger panel, click on Window, Panel, Logger. The panel will tell you the duration that your animated texture needs to be. 
To set the settings in the resource panel, select the animated texture, then in the inspector panel, set the duration of the number shown in the logger and refresh the lens. You should now have a face attached to the video. You can also use a custom image instead of a face image. To replace the face image, change the image's texture property to the custom texture of your choosing. Opacity mask can be applied or removed by changing the opacity's image's texture property. To change the size of the image, adjust the size slider. You can also change the image position on the video by adjusting the offset X and offset Y slider. If you wish to have a transparent image, adjust the alpha slider to change the amount of transparency. If you want your image to draw on top of the video, change the image sort to in front of video. You can also sort using the objects panel by setting the image sort to manual. Let's try setting image sort to manual and change the hierarchy to see how it works. You should now have a fully customized face and video lens. We're now ready to preview and submit your lens. For more information on face and video template, visit the face and video template sections of the Lens Studio website. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own face and video lenses.